Geometry Dash has had a lot of major updates, some getting included very quickly, some taking up to seven years. This is not News 21, so I'll just skip right to the point. Geometry Dash is one of the most popular games and therefore one of the most successful games ever created. And being that the game is well over a decade old now, it really makes you think, out of all the major updates, what update really solidified Geometry Dash? There's always that YouTube video that solidifies a YouTuber or that update that solidifies a game. And today we're going to be looking at what I have come to believe the update that solidified Geometry Dash for the years to come. Now, just before this video continues, thank you to everyone that has become a member. One of the perks that you get for becoming a member is by getting a shout out in every single video, no matter the video topic. Coming out on the 25th of March, 2014, we have Geometry Dash 1.6. What I believe to be the solidification era of Geometry Dash, ensuring everyone that played the game at the time and the years to come that Robtop wasn't playing around. Geometry Dash 1.6 introduced fan favorite Electro Man Adventures, controversial first demon Club Step, three secret coins to all main levels, which is just an unbelievable update. Map packs altogether, which have aged poorly, although at the time were an incredible addition to the game. Two new colors, which are fan favorites, primary black and secondary black, four new cubes, two new ships, four new balls, and four new UFOs. On top of this, an update has to be able to future-proof its game by an online presence in almost every single case. And how Geometry Dash looks to do this with almost every single, if not every update, is to enhance the editor experience, and 1.6 is no exception. So these two things, in my opinion, are absolutely huge. The ideas seem simplistic, nowadays, although to be executed in the way that they were, is a very big plus. We have, which you would have seen on Electro Man Adventures, destructible blocks. Destructible blocks aren't necessarily used too much, although we can obviously give the benefit of the doubt for creativity, something different, and to honestly just create a brand new subgenre of levels. Not necessarily the most popular, but you can obviously appreciate the idea that it exists. Then, on top of that, which you would have seen in Club Step, is obviously invisible mode blocks, which completely changed the game, made the levels much more difficult, much harder to sight read in a sense, and also enhanced memorization being a requirement for any difficult level going forward. This was incredible. Electro Man Adventure starts off with a deep blue partnered with whatever colors you're using. Then when it comes to the gameplay designs, we talk about those destructible blocks, which actually create a pathway to what was also added within this update, a secret coin. This intro is flawless. I'm no level designer, right? So you can only take my word for as much as it's worth. But when I look at Electro Man Adventures, I don't think that I could seriously come up with any improvements for this update. Gotta remember, coins were added, the destructible blocks were added, different design choices were added, and they're all used to perfection just in this intro alone. As we transition here into this mini ship, something that you'll find pretty a pretty common occurrence for Rob's levels is that some of the secret coins are actually the easier way. Pretty funny, I don't really find that it being that big of a deal. Although yeah, some YouTubers might come out ranking coins and they'll be like, well, this isn't difficult. It's the easier way. Me personally, I don't value this an awful much. I just think it's something worth noting. As the level progresses, we find ourselves in a mini cube section where all the bounce pads or jump pads, whatever you want to call them, whatever they're officially called, sync up with the music. I find this fantastic. Then this transitions us into a ball section, which I quite like. It's nothing that we haven't seen before because we even saw this in Rob's official level alone with cycles. Although I think that it fits the vibe the flow of the level perfectly. Bit hard to explain, may seem unprofessional, but I think that it's still worth noting because I'm just a big fan of this section. And also the decoration is amazing. Now here's something that we don't see an awful lot nowadays, mirror portal gameplay. Yeah, it's pretty short lived, although I think I'm gonna let this one slide. Mirror gameplay is not my favorite whatsoever. Is it because I suck at it? Yeah, probably, I'll admit it, I'm not afraid of that. 
But the way that Electro Man adventures throughout this whole section that I'm going to speed up and show you guys right now swiftly transitions from mirrored gameplay into normal gameplay is something that I've really appreciated over time. Once again, it's simplistic, although gets my nod. I'm a big fan of that. Now, one sec, I would just like to acknowledge because we're analyzing the level here just for its face value. We're not going in depth. I think that Electro Man Adventures is a harder difficulty level. Because if you look at something like this mini UFO section, how is this insane? This is some Flappy Bird reference, basically. None of the platforms here have spikes, and then it transitions into a mini ship section where you can just hold or let go for a lot of the sections because you don't need to straight fly because half of the sections don't have spikes. This isn't a downside, no, 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 no. It's just acknowledging what we're seeing at face value once again. And what I'm acknowledging at face value doesn't look like an insane level to me. This looks like a harder level. Now, if someone was to ever argue to me that Electro Man Adventures is insane, not only would I hear them out because it's completely fair observation, even Rob Top thinks that it's an insane, but I think that it's to do with this um, short-lived mini cube section right here. No, there's not too much to look at decoration-wise or even innovation when it comes to gameplay wise but it might be a bit awkward for people that aren't used to that mini gameplay it's that type of era for geometry dash where mini gameplay was quite foreign or if you're playing the levels in order well then it's foreign to you no matter what update you're on so i can definitely hear you out for a segment like this then after what we just spoke about with the mini cube section we find a mini ball section reminiscent of clutterfunk once again big fan of it although sadly it's short-lived i would not have minded the level to end off with the mini ball. So how does the level end? Well, there's really just not too much to talk about here. We have a spam section, and then when it comes to these pillars, or whatever you want to call them, platforms, they're reminiscent of Jumper, and that's basically it. If I had to say anything, had to give any of my feedback when it comes to the ending, I would say that I would like it to have ended with the mini ball. That would have been pretty cool, but nonetheless, Really great level, Electro Man Adventures is a classic. Club Step starts off with this black eerie design and then transitions into this fiery red. The music is crazy, the gameplay is fluid, and I'm a big fan of how it transitions into this black as it syncs up with the music as we transition into the infamous beginning ship segment. Also, for this section right here, invisible block gameplay, something that was new to Geometry Dash at the time, and something that, despite it being so, so, so many years ago, I vividly remember struggling on. I don't know why I remember that, but you know what else I struggled on? It would be this ship segment, because guys, if you guys are even half decent at the game, you guys are going to think that I'm over-exaggerating the difficulty of this, but we gotta remember, at the time, no Rob Top Demons. And on top of that, at the time, invisible blocks were new. And you're meant to tell me that we just got hit with one of the most difficult ship segments still to this day in any Rob Top level partnered with invisible blocks. Oh my goodness, back in the day, I wanted to punch my iPad, man. This segment really tilted me, but that's kind of the purpose. Rob Top's levels have insane, memorable gameplay once again. Awesome. Big fan of this ship segment right here. And by either choosing to stray fly or holding and letting go at some moments, we get spat out into another orb spam section. Not awfully the biggest fan of this. This always felt a bit awkward, a bit forced, and a bit of filler to me, because although I'm completely fine with spamming, my mouse is great, my spamming is great, it still just felt weird. Maybe it was the spacing of the orbs, maybe it was the timing of the presses. I'm not quite sure what doesn't hit with me for this segment right here. Now, all is forgiven, because in this mini ball section, I am a huge, huge, huge fan. This is one of my favorite segments in any Rob Top level. Now, why? Why is that? Now, something that I even find myself present day doing is just completely ignoring what other pathways are provided to us. What I'm going to be slowing down and showcasing on screen right now are pathways that a new player, or at least a player that is new to club step, may assume to be the correct pathway, but it actually doesn't end up working whatsoever. Once again, we just got to take ourselves back to 2014 because at the time this was a complete foreign technique to throw players off and to provide difficulty and I think that this has actually aged incredible. It's one of the best segments in any Rob Top level forever. Now that transitions us into a mini UFO section where click patterns are a must. I made a video talking about which is the hardest Rob Top demon. No, you don't have to go check it out whatsoever. That's completely on you. But not only did I stress the importance of this because this is a pretty difficult section, but it 
teaches the player or slash it taught the player click patterns. Because if you look back at all the other Rob Top levels, I don't think that there's anything comparable to this mini UFO section right here. Then we go on to this mini ship segment, nothing too much. And then we go on to a spam orb section similar to the intro. Now, when it comes to this mini ship segment, this is pretty ridiculous for a Rob Top level. Not only do you need to understand the importance of memorization now going forward within the game because of invisible spikes, but you also have to understand the exact precision needed for just the mini ship altogether. And on top of that, the upside down mini ship. Here we go into a short lived cube section where we even get another invisible block fake memorization galore here and then we have to be an upside down mini ship as i was talking about earlier for a prolonged period of time but that's not just it though in the same motion we then get put into a mini cube spam section more invisible blocks and then more fakes with the mini ship the ending of club step has no care in the world for an easy ending. Now, something that I've made sure is an ending segment for all of these update-esque videos, we are going to discuss the most iconic levels, in my opinion, that were either modified for 1.6 or created in 1.6. So let's go. We have Ice Carbon Diablo X, Demon Mixed, Club Step V2, Silent Club, not Silent Club Step, and PG Club Step. Those are the levels that I'm going to be choosing to end off the video. All of these levels have inspired creators for 1.7, 1.8, 9, 2.0, 2.1, 2.2 and onwards. And this is a decade old. These levels are a decade old. So to be able to inspire the next level of creators, the next benchmark is truly something that helps the case of this update being the solidification update for Geometry Dash. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's episode. Do you guys believe that 1.6 was the solidification update for Geometry Dash or did I get this whole thing completely wrong? Let me know in the comment section below. Peace.